I don't know what time it is. I've left the other phone in the car. I'm recording on this one, which has only got 895 meg available, so I've got to be quick. That's the lookout where I was standing before when I took the little shot, the little uh, video with the ding dong chimes. At least I know I won't get ding dong chimes. Now we can see that the sun's come up. We can see that it's a white. So it's probably bauxite, I'm guessing. Don't know. I just met Bill. <laughs> What a great bloke. Bill runs the little Outlook Cafe behind me, where I started this shot from. Uh, just to see if I can get rid of that flare. Because that's the sun coming up. I didn't see the sun actually come up. There's a big bank of cloud there. And where I was up behind the cafe. I'll swing around again, slowly. Okay. I was standing up there on the sort of uh, the crow's nesty type thing. And, uh, yeah. So I couldn't actually see the sun come up. But I knew it was going to. Because why? I have a schema that says every morning, roughly around about 6 o'clock, give or take, depending on the season, the sun you'll see the sun again. Imagine living on the equator and knowing the sun's going to come up and set at 6 o'clock every single day. Every single day. How dull would that be? How absolutely dull and how depressing to be on the equator. Ooh. What's that mountain? I want to find that mountain. Man, oh man, check that out. Oh, come on, come on, come on, don't be a... No, won't play for me. Sorry, that was just me trying to zoom in, but... Oh, I know. No. <laughs> just sometimes it won't play. I don't know if it's a storage thing or a battery thing or what the deal is. It's Bill Quinn saying, here I am in Gladstone. What a fantastic place. What fantastic people. What, what a challenging area, what an absolutely challenging area, but oh, holy dooly, even if I don't see out this contract and there is a little bit of a question mark over it, I'll absolutely stay here for the duration. I probably won't head off to Claremont now, I'm, I'll see how I go. I'm told by Dino next door that Claremont this time of year is perfect, absolutely perfect. Which is interesting, considering Freddie tells me that it's hotter than Hades, you know, during the summer. But he said, right now it's perfect. Later it'll get cold as charity. In the summer it's hotter than Hades. He says, right now, it's just brilliant. It's Bill Quinn saying good morning from Gladstone. At roughly, I'm guessing about 20 past six. The day begins. There is so much going on today. Oh my God. Sunday the 30th of April, last day of April, tomorrow's May Day. They'll be dancing up the sun on the top of Mount Kutha tomorrow morning. John Thompson, if you're out there, enjoy. Dave McBadger won't be because he's in England as far as I know. Uh, the lovely, lovely Karuna, Karina, Karuna, Karun, Karung, K starts with C or K. Should be there with a black face. Not in a bad way. Not in a bad way. In a in a Morris dancing way. It's Bill Quinn saying, "Wish you were here." And I'm glad that I am here. See ya. Time for me to leave. <laughs>